morning, you lovely lot. Thanks for watching. If it's the first time you've tuned into the channel, stay tuned and click that subscribe button and the bell icon to allow notifications when the new videos come out. Right, that's that bit done. Well, it's been a while since we've done the video. We did get out over Christmas and the new year. And so did James actually. And we both actually caught something. Unbelievable. We actually caught a fish. So this weekend, I'm meeting up with James and we're going to Monk Lakes and Staplehurst and Kent. I'm actually running a little bit late and the gates open in about 10 minutes time. So I need to get my foot down and get there set up and walk around the lake and see if we can see anything and get two swimmers that are close together that'll be nice we'll see you there set up, we've got two rods out, got the kettle on, James is just up there, a couple of swims up, he's just finishing setting up. I'm feeling quite confident to be honest with you, but I don't think I always am. Oh, hold on, wait a minute, the kettle's going ballistic. Yep, so I've got two rods out. I've got one in a bag, really tight to some reeds, literally five and a half wraps out it's not far I'm fishing really close in this session and the other rod I've got like a cage for I'll show you later on I've got like a cage feeder on with a mix which I've made up which I know works on this venue I've used it several times and I've always done quite well on it but that's always been in the summer sort of months warmer months so we'll see how we go in the winter Keep you informed. Getting a bit peckish actually, so I'm gonna make this cup of tea and maybe a couple of biscuits. I might even treat James to a couple of shortbread. Let's see. Hey everybody! Look who's here! Hello! It's Mr. James! Mr. James! <laughs> Mr. Hello, Jim. Mr. James! Got a new cup! This one says I'm awesome on it. I so say you're not the world's sexiest plasterer today, you're just... I'm both. You're an awesome plasterer. I'm an awesome sexy plasterer. Awesome sexy, but it doesn't say sexy on the cup though, does it? Yeah, but it does on the other cup. I think you should pull the other one. Don't want to see that now. Can't see that? <coughs> they won't let us see that. Go, go, go. I won't let us see it. Pull the, other. Pull the other one. It's a bit cold today. Jeez. So this is the first session we've sort of filmed, isn't it? For since quite a while. Since Christmas. Since before Christmas, yeah. Since Christmas. Hope you had a good Christmas and a good New Year. You finished your year off well, didn't you? I did. I had a fish. Mr. Robin's trying to get a few maggots which I've been throwing in the PVA bag. Off he goes. Greedy little sod. Is he going anywhere else other than around your bivy? I've had I've had two of them round here. I've had so I've had two robins and I've had a pair of great tits. <laughs> boom boom. It's like the sun, isn't it? <laughs> I've had yeah. a robin and a coat. Robin and a coat. Oh, I've had, I've had coats, and I've had, I've had swans as well. Yeah. Oh yeah, swans. Yep. 
and a kingfisher. He's been very busy for bird watching today. If I was a bird watcher, I would have had a great day. Definitely. Yeah. Are you a bird watcher? No. No, sign me up. I've got to say hello to a young lady called Eliza May. Hello, Eliza May. Hello, Eliza. <laughs> uh, she has a sister and she's named her bearded dragon Bearded Blurb. How about that? <laughs> so we've got, lizard, <laughs> we've got a lizard named after us. Uh, yeah, brilliant. I love it. Nice. So Eliza, I hope you are enjoying the video so far. I promised that I would say hello to you. And maybe one day you wanna give fishing a go. I'm sure you will. Yeah. I wouldn't mind giving fishing a go to be honest. Yeah, same now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go and sort my words out now. Yep, so okay. I'll bid you farewell. Bye bye. Fairly well people, we'll speak to you in a little while. Speak to you in a bit. Bye bye. Let's show you that uh, frame feeder rig which I was talking about a little while ago. Right, so we've got chain coil leader, okay. And this is the frame feeder. That's in line. Obviously free running. Okay. Now I don't know if you've ever seen one before or those who've never used them. It's basically your normal lead in a funny shape which allows you to get your bait or your mixture or whatever you've made up. In my case it's oats, milk, peas and sweet corn. And then you can just mould it around and hold it on now. Go down to the rig itself just a very short, supple braid, as you can see. A little bit just covering over the end of the swivel. Two bits of fake corn, buoyant fake corn. So they'll just sit nicely within the mix. And they won't really be seen, to be honest, if you know what I mean. The idea is that it's a mouthful of food on the bottom and it's not that they're homing in on your hook bait so much and they're going for that but they're just eating the big pile of food that's there and they're sucking up your hook bait more like more of an accident really than gone for it that's the idea anyway so i'm going to bring it in one rack to the next gravel bar which I found which is only four wraps out so there's two gravel bars where I'm fishing one at four wraps one at five and a half this has been sitting on the five and a half and as I've been getting the liners I'll bring it in a little bit so I could be passing past my line on that four wrap okay gravel bar so fingers crossed let's put it back out there and see if it produces something. There it is, it's all put together. It's quite a stick in the hook, but it's literally just pushed into it. morning so it got really really misty last night because I couldn't see much to be honest with you it got that bad it's quite spooky but nothing happened through the night until this morning <coughs> James had one 
at probably around about five o'clock ish sort of time. Uh, I didn't know about it until James had come over with his head torch shining through the doorway of the BV because the battery and the radio had died through the night. And so he's just come over, Rob, well, got a fish, got a fish. So I've gone over there and a really nice mirror. I think that went a 14 pound, I think it was. And then around about six o'clock, my frame feeder went off on the homemade pop-ups. It screamed off, melted. I thought that was a good fish. And get it in, it's just a little pasty. Probably only about, I did bother weighing it, probably about six pound, maybe. You'll see the photos now. So have any luck. A bit more productive today. It was warm last night, believe it or not. The mist must have kept the heat in. But yet again, it's looking promising as it does every morning, every time it comes fishing. Always looks promising. So, fingers crossed for today. Let's see if we can get a couple more out. Right, we're going to go over now and uh, see James. The weather's getting a bit gloomy now, I'd say, to be honest. Looks like it uh, might even rain a little while. This is Master James's house. Hello. That do then. Ah? Uh? And get out now. What? He's shy. What do you mean? Cue the music. <laughs> I've got Pete Pete today. <sighs> Yeah, the reason why it's called peep peep is because the baby ones they go like peep 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 and the adult ones go ha ha <laughs> but the baby ones go peep 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 that's why it's called peep peep anyway I caught fish did you see the picture? Did you show me the picture yet? I might have done. Mm. I probably have done. Have you? I put a picture up, haven't I? They said yes. You must have done it. Yeah. Yeah, I spoke about it anyway. So, yeah, yeah. Ah, good stuff. I put PP over here because he's very shy. Oh, this is my carp pillow. <laughs> <sighs> a, a literal carp pillow. It's really comfy. This is what I'll get out when I blank. So I'll get it out quite a lot. Yeah. My presentation's pretty good. I'll do the overarm one. Oh yeah, the old 70s guitar shot. So Rob had a fish as well, didn't you? I've had a little fishy. Little baby fishy. I did a lot of sleeping last night, so there's no filming at night last night. That's what you think. <sighs> now you said you heard a lot of noise outside. Yeah. <laughs> Something sniffing around outside the back, outside the side of my bivvy. About me. I thought it's either a badger, a monster, or aliens. We come to the conclusion that it could have been aliens, because there's a river that runs along here, and because aliens are ecological, they use the river. Right. It's a well known fact. Travel millions of light years in spaceships and they use a river. What 
eat that. Let's go, isn't it? Is it? Definitely. Has to be, doesn't it? Mm. Bloody loud. <laughs> it's going all day yesterday, wasn't it? Well, that and the shotguns. So I've been back in Croydon. <laughs> <laughs> I've done my peak peak. I think I might be leaning on it. <laughs> Let me flick peak peak. I'll try and get his mummy and daddy. Let's do it. I suppose Bun ate the day. He's with his mummy. Sit down there, Pete Pete. Away from that nasty Robert. You can come and sit over here if he wants. He doesn't want to do that. He said you can stick it where the sun don't shine. That's bloody soup. That's charming, isn't it? Well, you know, he learns it off a of bunny. He's a bit of a... There you go, see? Eat the see. I've said it all along. You said what all along? Bunny's a bastard. Because bunnies are real, is he? No, he's not real. As soon as I started Score! saying it, I knew where it was going. <sighs> Let him have it. <laughs> I told you he's real. You wouldn't have it. He's not real. Oh, I'll show you something later on. She's got the Fox Horizon XT. Buying it and you're having trouble taking it apart, I'll show you a little trick. Because I had a little bit of trouble with it as well. <laughs> There's a fella over there who's got the same alarms as me. He's doing my head in. That's when I heard your ones this morning. I thought, oh, I don't know, I've, got, oh, I've been hearing that a few times. No, I've got them socks, and they're better without another pair of socks underneath. They're better on their own. Are they? Yeah. That so, makes sense. Because they just, your feet just sweat and get cold. You know, that's what I've found. So how are you getting on with your Christmas present I've got you, James? I don't know what you're talking about. There's a little plastic peg that goes in, the lead goes in like into the bottom of the float. No, the bottom of the boom. Boom. That's the universal sign for boom. Yeah. Just so you know. And there's a little plastic peg, you push it in, you put the little plastic peg in. And I dropped it the day that we got it, but we managed to find it. Took it home to take the lid out, and I dropped the little plastic peg again. And I can't find it. I tell you what, I see. I don't know why they ain't bought out Nash dog beds. The amount of people that goes yeah. go fishing with their bleeding dog beds. That's an idea. Anybody who's listening with any of these companies, dog beds. Or cat Do beds. Or oh. cat beds. Cat, who brings the cat to fishing? There's loads of people that take cats fishing. Is it? Yeah, I've seen loads of people on Facebook. I keep trying to take both. But I'm not allowed. I've got a harness for him and everything. What's he like with it? He just lays on the floor and you have to drag him along. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that cat's funny. <laughs> <laughs> we put it on him and he just flops over. Like that, and you have to drag it. I've got a video somewhere. I've, I've got, I've got an on. idea in the warmer months. Bring my peggies. I, I will be a couple of swims down from you then. Why? Then, why? Why? What? I don't like my peggies. When he says piggies, he doesn't mean little like pot belly pigs or cute pigs. Guinea pigs. Stupid guinea pigs. <gasps> Don't you talk about my piggies like that. To go with his stupid teddies. 
<gasps> I'm going. See you later. I'll leave you with him. You can deal with him. <laughs> and today's passage from Bunnies and Kitties is Cute only gets you so far, but maybe that's far enough. You got a picture. Oh, hang on, hang on. Of a Peggy and a bunny and a kitty. <sighs> I thought I'd give you a little tour of the place where we like to spend our weekends. So, over on this side, we have the kitchen area. We do obviously all the cooking, the tea and coffee making, and it's also a little bit of a storage area. Opposite side, we have what I like to call the workstation. Storage, and all my rig tying gear, and my tackle box and everything else. Obviously where I am now is the seating area of the apartment. Very comfortable. Um, behind me is the bedroom. As you can see, it's a nice big bed. That Fox Flatliner, there are other makes available on the market of course, but the Fox Flatliner is an incredibly comfortable bed. At the front of the apartment, we have extra storage. On one side, I like to keep boilers and spot mixes and other various types of baits. And on the other side, this particular time, I've got my waders, chest waders, just in case. So, there you go, guys. That's how we live on the bank. Action. Right. This is my how-to video of how to take off a 42 inch net off the Fox Horizon X4 42 inch landing net. First of all, see the horizon name there. If you try and pull it out, it is absolutely not gonna come out. If you try and pull it here, it's not gonna come out. You can't get the point. But if you get your hand above that horizon letter there, just pull it, pop. And there we go. Don't do it again, it didn't really see it properly. Didn't you? Oh. Right. Do I have to do the entire speech again? No, just to take them apart a bit. Right. Is it the same for putting it together in it as well? Yep. No, it's the same. It's together, you just slot it in. Got your horizon line there. You just get above, put your hand above it, pull that way, and pop. Now it comes. Okay. Are you waiting for me to say something? <laughs> oh, I'm on it. Oh, uh. Don't, don't, don't look at the light. <laughs> right, look here, look, look, just look there. Look. Uh, don't look at the light. Well, guys, that's us done for another session. As you can see, not a total disaster this time. We actually pulled a couple of fish out of the water. No, what was shame? <laughs> so we achieved what we wanted to achieve. Done a bit of practice. Had a feel about on another two pegs, so it's a couple of pegs we've covered now over the last couple of weeks. So we're getting to know a few more and a few more little hidey holes. What? You're an animal. <laughs> <laughs> so if I stand there, you look quite tall. Yeah, but if you stand next to me, I look f***ing short. Bleep that out, please, Robert. <laughs> Mm. 
So until next time, enjoy yourself, look after yourself, and goodbye Eliza May. Bye Eliza. Make sure you look after Bearded Blurb. Oh yeah, look after Bearded Blurb. Don't ever get an ill. No. Give him some extra grasshoppers <laughs> from me. And remember, and if you haven't subscribed, subscribe. Press the bell for notifications. I did say this at the beginning, I think. But I've slept since then, so I've probably forgotten. Well, yeah. I slept about five times. You've done lots of sleeping, didn't I you? I did a lot of sleeping. I've had a busy week, actually. And that, and then it tops, tops out with, I had to put a pram hood away in wind and rain. It's not fun, is it? It really isn't. I hate it. I didn't. <laughs> hey, look at me, my baby packs up all the So, see you later. Boysy boy. Cue outro.